You're so good for me. I could see how easy you'd be. We could just sail away and spend the day. But considering the circumstances, I don't know if I should fall. I thought breastfeeding would be easy. Not to start off with. Everybody was very eager to help you fail. Breastfeeding is all day and all night at 3 a.m. and it's hard and nobody tells you it's hard in the beginning. I just did not realize um, the, the level of commitment and of, of nurturing myself also that I had to, to keep up and do in order to give the life force to my, to my baby. Where I live I feel like I have a really open community and then coming down to Southern California I felt a little bit more judgment on nursing in public. In New York when I had my son with midwives, the midwives were great but the rest of the hospital staff was really put out by the fact that I didn't want medication. As soon as Emily was born she latched on and started nursing and I was thrilled and as soon as Greg and the family leave they come in and haul my baby off. And I'm having a fit. I want my baby back. Why don't you bring me my baby? Then I started breastfeeding him, and then unfortunately I didn't have any help here. My mother was going to stay, and she wasn't able to, so I was alone. Simon went back to work. I was by myself, and I was just sort of feeling anxious. Every time you ran into, you know, my baby's got a weird latch, or, um, you know, I'm engorged, or they only nurse on this side, instead of saying, well, why don't you call somebody to help you, they would say, why don't you, you know, this is why I stopped nursing. We've had experiences where people have judged us and have felt like we're just crazy hippies. And, you know, especially breastfeeding in public, a lot of times I feel like all eyes are on me. I, like, I, I would just like it to be considered like, a, like an okay option. Like that society <laughs> in general thought it was okay. Didn't think you were totally weird for doing, you know, a home birth. In my family, if you don't breastfeed, you're just not like a blood relative. Josh, being raised completely different, natural childbirth to him was a concept that was totally new and almost a little bizarre. There was definitely a fear um, of not being in a hospital. I think at first I saw breastfeeding and you know having babies naturally and, and home birth as a somewhat of a political stance. At this point in my life, I mean, it's just the way that I live, and primarily most of my friends live that way, so I think it just has become like a part of my life. Immediately after the birth, he went and he called his mother at 1.30 in the morning just to say, oh my God, I love you. You went through this for me. I can't believe it. And he came back into the bedroom crying and said, thank you. If I hadn't been here to witness this, I wouldn't have appreciated my mom. You know, not only did I birth a baby and grow a baby inside me, but now I can, you know, feed my baby and take care of her. To me, I knew that the bond that I was going to experience with my baby was um, found through breastfeeding, and I knew that the immunities that I would give my child um, through breast milk was so much stronger and so much um, more intense than, than any formula. Yeah, me and my mom do have a special bond. I miss it when I'm not around her. Hmm. It's so worth it to have gone through that and to get to the point where we are because it's amazing to breastfeed. And you can feel their little heartbeat, you know, on you. It's, there's no words to describe it. I was very lucky that I had my mom and my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, all of whom nursed and would come upstairs at 2 a.m. when I was going, I can't do this. When we had Jennifer come over, who was the second lactation consultant, she came in and, um, I showed her how you know things were going, and she goes, "This, you know, this baby is latching beautifully. You know, trust yourself, trust your body, trust the baby." And so, if I got anxious at all after that, I would just think about trusting Garland to to show me what he needed. There's always a big network of of family members of women that you know, if I did have any issues, mm -hmm. you just call them up and any hour of the night, and they're readily available with an answer as to what this, you know, okay, this is what you're experiencing, here's the solution, try this. Do you remember nursing? Yeah. And drinking I milk? I could see how easy you'd bathe. 
We could just sail away and spend the day Considering the circumstances, I don't know if I should